We are going to now explore stationary wave formation on a pipe that is open on both ends. So as you can see clearly here, there's an open end here and of course an open end here. Now to do this, we need the boundary condition to be anti nodes on both sides, okay? And uh, that's what we see over here. So as long as you form a stationary wave that has an anti node here and an anti node here, you will indeed form a stationary wave in this open pipe. Now, looking at what we have over here, okay, uh, can we see that if this is the length of the pipe L, then again, what you see, L equals to exactly half a wavelength, lambda over 2. And so this, of course, is your fundamental mode of vibration. Okay, the, the frequency will be the lowest, the lowest frequency of wave that will be able to form a stationary wave on this pipe. And... Uh, Let's try to see what other kinds of stationary waves we can form, right? Keeping in mind that we must have anti nodes on both sides. Okay, so of course I could do something like this as well. Okay, oops, let me, I've got to do dotted lines for this one. Okay, in which case you'll see that L will equal to exactly one wavelength, or should we say two times of lambda over two? So I've got one half wavelength here, and these two together give you another half wavelength, right? Okay, so, uh, and let's look at one more example. Okay, let's look at one more example of stationary wave formation. Okay, I can also go something like this. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is my, uh, okay. And in this case, you will see that L equals to three of the half wavelengths. Okay, one over here, one over here, and of course, these two give me my third half wavelength. And so, to form a stationary wave in such a system, like an open pipe, remember, you'll see something very familiar. The length of the pipe must be some integer multiple, again, of a half wavelength. This is exactly the same as the condition you saw in a stretch string, but the pattern of the wave is slightly different because you must start and end on antinodes okay and so of course again just a reminder n is what we call the harmonic number okay and so this tells you precisely uh, how many of these half wavelengths you will see so for example if n were to equal to five okay then of course i can predict that i will have one two three four of these okay and then Right, one, two, three, four of these half wavelengths, and then I just end off with my two anti nodes like so.